Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leathercraft, and this is the Leather Element. If you've got a good question for us, or a good idea for a Leather Element, drop it in the comment box below. Now this week we're going to talk about setting rivets in difficult places. You'll see where I'm going with this. It's a whole lot more than just that. All right, but before we get there, salmon line. Yes, sorry about the bad English, and probably all I can say is expect more. <laughs> sorry. And Mason, we're definitely going to make a rapier carrier. Also, Rob and Ezra Maddie, thanks a million for your great comments. They mean more than you know. And Israel, Bangladesh, India, hello right back to you. All right, this week, setting rivets in difficult places. But we're talking about rivets, punching holes. Here, all right, before I go, let's use this as an example. Say we've got a pouch. First time or only time we're going to make this. Sometimes pouch and pattern are two different measurements. So when I go to close my flap, I want my closure absolutely tight. So therefore, I'm going to set that after I assemble, after I sew. So I need to be able to punch a hole and set a snap base in the, fa in the face of that pouch. All right? That can be difficult. But also, gussets, yeah, they never come out like we think they will. So we're going to over trim and then cut to size. So therefore, we've got to add our billets later. We've got to add those once this is assembled. All right, enough talk, enough talk. Let's jump over here, look at a couple of easy tricks to take care of every one of these situations. It looks like I'm a collector of things I don't need, or I've gone through the dumpster at a hardware store, right? Everything here exceptionally helpful to us. All right, let's start right here. Simply a piece of wood with some bar stock, and I can pick this up at any hardware store. Immediately obvious how this can help, but let's step over to my shop because this can be even a bigger help. Now, this is just a standard bench vise from any hardware store, and again, nothing fancy, relatively inexpensive. But I can drop my bar into this. There we go. Super secure, all right? Here's our point. What I can do now is say I've got this deep pouch. Easy enough. Now I can drop a piece of scrap down in there, punch my hole, pull that off. Now I can set my rivet. But also, say with our gussets, these can be iffy when we're cutting these for length. So therefore, again, I can punch my holes, trim to, trim to size, punch my holes, then set my rivets. But also, pre-existing projects, boots, purses, pouch, bags, even a hat. Now I can set spots or rivets or conchos or punch holes. Absolutely easy and very inexpensive. For a lot of us crafters, a bench vise might not be in the budget. But the bigger problem for us is that we might not have a table where we can bolt something like that down. So let's take just a simple C-clamp. I'm gonna clamp this onto my table, but notice here, I'm going with my clamp as far back as I can, because look at that. I literally can hold myself in the air on that. That's how strong that is. And again, now I have ample length for setting, punching, same with my gussets. Now, I'm not sure where I picked this up over the years, but it's simply a piece of old railroad track. Now, we're not all making armor, but this is a perfect example. This can be one of the most useful tools in my shop because now I've got this set up on a post. So therefore, I can set every spot, every rivet, right down here, right to the hand. I can set every rivet on my anvil here, and I've got ample room for that to curl around. Even a bigger example. We've all seen this, but notice now, everything's curved here. So rivets, spots, conchos, going to be tough, but not really. One piece at a time, I can move that across. In fact, even down here, when I'm setting my spots, I have ample room to do that. And we're back to our bar stock. Very helpful and very inexpensive. So I need to set a post or a Sam Brown. I can simply drop that in. Now I've got that weight, but I can go as deep as I want with that. Secondly, if we've got a sheath and I need to set that rivet or snap or clip, now I can drop that down in. So with the bar stock, we can get this in just about any width, I think from a quarter, a quarter inch up to maybe three or four inches. So very inexpensive and very helpful to us. Not everything we do is huge, all right? We're gonna use a keeper because this is a perfect example. So if I wanna make a one inch keeper and I need to rivet this together, that's simply the anvil from our four piece rivet and snap set. So I can flip that over use the backside for my keeper or setting my rivet. Same with my bar stock. Again, all kinds of widths available. But here's a funny one. Notice this pair of needle nose, used and loved. 
But with this, I can drop a rivet right there. Therefore, I can make a keeper all the way down to a half inch. I've always heard the saying that one person's pleasure is another person's trash, okay? A leather shop seems to fit on both sides of that because what we've got now is just a bit of odds and ends. Perfect example. With this pouch, I've got an odd shape. I'm wet form. So the first time I make this, not really sure where my closure is going to land. So what I've got is a one by four, and I've just cut an end on that. That fits right in there. With this, that's just three pieces of leather, scrap, glued together. So that'll slide down in there. I can punch my hole, pull that out, drop my anvil down in there, and I can set a snap or whatever I need to set. When we jump over to a wider pouch, what we can do, this is simply our cutting board. When it wears out, I can easily cut this down with a jigsaw. I can make all manner of shapes and sizes. So with this again, I can drop that down in my pouch, punch my hole, drop my anvil, set my snap. Now, when we jump over to this, we've got kind of a depth issue here. That really isn't an issue. Let's take a piece of two by four or a combination of, of wood, drop that in, drop in my leather. I can punch my hole, pull that out, drop in my anvil, and again, set my snap. So there's all manner of combinations, both with stacking material, multiple combinations, and both our setting and punching material. The primary point of this video is that yes, we can absolutely set rivets, snaps, punch holes, and chisel lines in difficult places. But the bigger point here is this, we can now shuffle the steps in the process, thus making each step a little bit easier. That's the point. And if we do that, the project is more fun, it's a lot easier, and our outcome, clean and tight. So therefore, we circle right back around to ease an outcome. I hope this is good information for you. Thanks for taking time to watch The Leather Element. Good luck with your projects.